4% rainfall deficit in September. And if El Nino continues till spring, it may bring down the average rainfall in the 2019 monsoon too. In the past 135 years, between 1880 and 2014, around 90% of all evolving El Nino years have seen below normal rainfall in India. In fact, six of the worst droughts in India since 1871 have been triggered by El Nino. Well, that sounds grim, doesn't it? In a country like India, where many farmers depend on monsoon rainfall, something like this seems so scary. But what exactly is responsible for this? What is El Nino? Well, to understand this, let's bring back the map. Now, this is the Pacific Ocean. Due to insulation, the surface water heats up. This warm surface water is blown west by trade winds, piling it near the western Pacific region. In contrast, the region near the eastern Pacific Ocean is colder and it is accompanied by a cold ocean current called the Peruvian current. Warm air rises near the western Pacific region and descends near the eastern Pacific region. We call this the neutral phase. In this phase, warm air rises, forms clouds and causes rainfall near the western Pacific. causes dry climatic conditions in that region. But something unusual happens every two to five years. This arrangement gets disturbed. The trade winds get weaker, making the warm surface water move eastwards, replacing the cold Peruvian current near the eastern Pacific. Now, this creates a chain of events where a low pressure area develops in the eastern Pacific instead of the western Pacific. This changes the convection cycle in the entire Pacific Ocean. This phenomenon is called El Nino. As we just saw, there are multiple periodic changes in the pressure conditions of the southern Pacific Ocean. This is known as the Southern Oscillation. As these pressure changes are connected to El Nino, it is also referred to as ENSO or El Nino Southern Oscillation. But the question is, how does all this affect the monsoon in India? Well, as we have seen earlier, the monsoon in India requires a high pressure region to be built up near Madagascar to push the monsoon winds to the low pressure regions. During the El Nino phase, the high pressure area near Madagascar does not fully develop, meaning pressure there is comparatively lower than it would be in a usual non-El Nino year. And that's why the Indian subcontinent receives lower rainfall in an El Nino year compared to a normal year. For example, in 1990-91, the onset of the southwest monsoon over most parts of India was delayed because of El Nino. Wow! So a phenomenon that occurs thousands of miles away from India affects the climate here? Who knew so many cogs and wheels had to be in place for the monsoon mechanism to work? <laughs>